Live from East Side Birmingham, this is Reload Radio News. It's five o'clock, I'm Michael Smith. Here are the headlines. The Prime Minister said she was appalled to hear of the harassment allegations at a fundraiser held by the President's Club. Speaking in Davros, Theresa May blasted the objectification of women, saying it was the kind of thing she thought we were leaving behind. The organisation announced that it was closing earlier today after accusations that the hostess at the men-only fundraiser were groped and told to wear high heels and matching underwear. West Midlands Police made several arrests in connection with modern slavery earlier today. Sarah McGee has more. Thirteen Polish nationals have been arrested after suspected victims of slavery were found in Birmingham. In planned raids in Handsworth, police discovered three men and two women who were allegedly being exploited. A minibus carrying suspected victims was also stopped in Westgate Aldridge. Police believe a legitimate employment agency may have been infiltrated. The five victims have been safeguarded and are being cared for at a rest centre run by the Red Cross. Water UK launched the new National Drinking Water Scheme today. The scheme aims to cut down on plastic waste by allowing people to refill their water bottles for free at shops and cafes across the country. Whitbread, the company that owes both Premier Inn and Costa Coffee, is the first to sign up with free water being provided from March this year. David Simpson of Water UK has confirmed that our plans to include Birmingham within the scheme. Temperature and water are the water company that supplies Birmingham. Um, so they are currently working on a plan um, and will be updating in September this year on the plan. They, they will be part of the scheme uh, when it's finalised by 2021. More people are sleeping rough across the West Midlands according to the latest government data. Research says that the number of rough sleepers in the region stands at 295, a 2% increase from last year. Charities like Shelter and Crisis estimate the real numbers to be much higher and have said that welfare cuts aren't helping the situation. A man has been arrested on suspicion of murder after a woman was found dead in Netherton on Wednesday. West Midlands police were called to the scene at 8.15pm and the 50-year-old man was arrested and taken to hospital where he's recovering from head injuries. A study has revealed high levels of sexual harassment in the theatre. Katie Brooks reports. The Stage newspaper surveyed more than 1,000 people about their experiences and one in three reported being harassed. A further 8% said they'd been sexually assaulted at work, with several accounts of rape also being recorded. The study comes after allegations of sexual assault and harassment were made against actor Kevin Spacey. He was the artistic director of London's Old Vic Theatre between 2004 and 2015. Donald Trump is set to give his first international television interview since becoming President of the United States. Piers Morgan interviewed him in Davos, Switzerland today, and the interview is set to air this Sunday on ITV. Theresa May is also due to meet with President Trump today at the World Economic Forum. A study by clickforreg.co.uk shows that you are most likely to be stopped for a breath test by the police on a Friday. Almost 19,000 reported breath tests have been recorded on Fridays, while Sundays had the lowest number, standing at about 12,500. The study also shows that 5pm is the most common time to be stopped and checked with over 10,000 breath test reports in 2016. According to the results of the study, you are least likely to be stopped at 4am. Sutton Coalfield Library has been awarded a grant to pay for new play equipment. The grant was announced by Sutton Coalfield's Charitable Trust as part of the ongoing renovations. Zoe Toft is the chair of Folio, a charity set up to ensure the survival of the library. So we were born out a very much grassroots campaign in Sutton to save the library from closure when it was announced about 18 months ago. And uh, initially we were a campaigning group and then we realised that we had to become a, sort of actually involved in offering a, a constructive, positive alternative or uh, plan to, to save the library. And uh, that's when we became Folio, Sutton Coldfield. 516 cases of knife crime have been reported in Birmingham in 2017, making it the worst year for knife crimes. Numbers have nearly doubled since 2014. The West Midlands Police have pointed out that most cases were non-fatal with knives being used to scare and threaten rather than harm. 50 knife crimes per 100,000 people have been reported in Birmingham, the highest concentration in the region. 
A mummified woman found in Basel in 1975 has been finally identified by scientists through DNA testing. In a surprising discovery, the mummy, named as Anna Katharina Biscoff, is actually related to the politician Boris Johnson. The current for UK Foreign Secretary is the seventh generation grandson of Anna. There's been a musical welcome for visitors in Birmingham today. Steve Carrefour has more. Visitors coming into the city today were welcomed by a live performance from the Birmingham Conservatoire's Folk Ensemble at New Street Station. The 65 musician ensemble performed this morning to highlight the Birmingham City University Open Day. Violinist Tom Campbell and director Tom Broadog explained. There's an open day for BCU today, and so the folk ensemble is doing like a little welcome to Birmingham for all the people coming to the open day, commuting on the trains. We just wanted to cheer up the commuters a little bit yeah. on their way to work, and it's just fantastic to play in this space here at New Street Station because it is, let's face it, the heart of Birmingham. The folk ensemble will be performing again twice for the end of day commuting. With the latest sports news, here's Alexander Walters. In tennis. Carl Edmund was unfortunately knocked out of the Australian Open today after losing his semi-final match. The Brits' second seed lost in straight sets to Ryan Cilic, who now becomes the first Croatian to progress to the final. He will face either Roger Federer or Hyun Chung on Sunday. There was some good news from Australia for Brits as top seeds Gordon Reid and Alfie Hewitt battled through three sets to reach the men's wheelchair doubles final. The Winter Olympics are just over two weeks away and Great Britain will send their largest ever team. 59 athletes will be heading to Pyeongchang on February 9th. UK Sport has set a target of five medals in South Korea and believes up to ten could be won. And in football, Aston Villa have signed Axel Tuanzebe on loan from Manchester United until the end of the season. Now in travel, expect slow moving traffic on the M5 northbound due to ongoing roadway works and there's a delay of up to 30 minutes on the Chiltern Railway service between Leamington Spa and Birmingham Moor Street. And in weather, we're in for a cold and cloudy evening with a high of 6 degrees and temperatures dropping to around 3 degrees later tonight. Tomorrow it will be cloudy with sunny intervals and temperatures reaching around 7 degrees. It's 7 minutes past 5, next news at 6pm.